Welcome back everyone, I hope you're doing well as always. Welcome back to another Scum video. If you're new to the game, welcome. This one is especially for you. Now I'm not gonna go over the character setup. I've already set Skinny up and you just set your character up how you wanna go about it. What looks good to you, what feels good to you and then you can experience it as you're in game. First off, I would say drop into single player as we're gonna do right now, because that will give you a chance at least. You're not gonna worry about other players. You just got to concentrate on yourself, surviving, and the puppets. Um, when you log in, the settings will all be on vanilla. There won't be loads of puppets. There'll be like 64 puppets, so you're not going to be swamped with them. But I'm going to do a little something on the settings another time, so you can better understand those. But for now, this is going to be a quick sort of 10-minute video for the basics. I do every single time I jump in with fresh character, PvP server, PvE server, or single player. Right, your hands are going to be tied straight out. They never used to be, so they will open in a bit. So get your parachute open early, so at least you can have a look at the surroundings and where you're sort of going to land and where you can plan to sort of go. So it's always a good early indicator when you're up here. So you can sort of just have a look around the map. Let's get your parachute open. You can see we've got a coastal town right there. You open your map. So we've got a huge POI here which will be the first portal call for me once I've got done what I need to do when I'm on the ground. Now, I would advise you not to land and make a straight beeline for that POI. That's how you get killed. Now, whether it be by players on a PvP server or even on single player, that's where you get killed by puppets. So I'm gonna get down to the ground and I'm gonna show you the first things you need to do and what you need. That way you won't get killed when you make it to that city. Right, there we go, we are down. Right. So the first thing I'm gonna do, if you're not sure what you're looking at, you've never been into the game, you're gonna want some sort of knife, tool. So let's go into the menu. And up here you can see stone knife and everything you craft. You click on it and it will tell you what you need over there. So stone knife, we need to find two stones. So let's, there you go. You sort of look at the pile of rocks and rocky bits are about, you can search them. Hit your tab and there we go, we got stone. But you can search the same pile more than once if you go around and back off a bit. There we go, so we have some stuff, we have some stones. So we can craft up a couple of these. Let's do that now. Now you do have to be, the only thing you do have to be mindful of is the wild puppets when you're dropping in, so be careful of those. But stay in the one place, because we're gonna get bushes chopped. So we're gonna chop up our clothes, make a bag. We're gonna make an ax, and we're gonna make a bow and uh, arrows. And then, only then we can get moving. It looks like we've got quite a few bushes down here. See, and also you've got to be keeping an eye out for where local resources are, rivers, water. You know, these are all seawater here. You've got rivers over here. You've got a river up north. Um, for now, I would hit this town and then maybe move across to this town in A3 and start moving my way north up into the greener regions where you can survive, where you can build a base, where you've got rivers, where you've got lakes, and you've got plenty of stuff to forage. So the further down south you are, it gets really tricky because you can see there's no rivers. So depending on what server you're on, what the loot settings are, what resources are gonna spawn. Right, so there we go. We have our stone knife. So what we need to do now is look for some bushes. So do be mindful and do not sprint about because if there is puppets around, you will alert them. And always have a little scour around just to make sure there's no wild puppets. Right, there we go, we've chopped down all three of these bushes, all four of those bushes, so we've got quite a few sticks. So just right click on the long ones, we're gonna just keep doing quite a few small sticks because we need some tree bark rope. And for tree bark rope, you will need five sticks. So we have plenty of those. So let's craft a couple of these because we will need one for, you can use that for the bag or the improvised rope, chop up your clothes. So for now, we're gonna use the tree bark rope. So let's get another one of those crafted up. Up top, we got a bow. So I'll always do me 20 pound bow, which will need uh, improvised rope or tree bark rope. The 35 pound bow, you need to find the five meter rope or wire 
to do that one. So we'll do a 20 pound boat. Right, so we have the 20 pound boat done. Now look for a few more stones. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make an X. The blades do degrade quite a bit, so you've got to be mindful of that. Keep an eye on that. So we're going to do an axe. So we need a small stone axe head. Right, let's go down back to the stick pile. There we go. We've got the rope there. So now we go find the axe. That's now ungrayed out so we can uh, craft that click on that that would take one rope one long stick and use up the axe head and what I'll also do is a wooden spear you can do another um, improvised stone knife rope and then do a stone spear which is stronger which for me I would do because it gives with no strength it gives me that extra poke but for now knowing the town's not too far away that's just some a melee weapon to give you a bit of distance from a puppet if they do get too close right there we go so now what we want to do right don't worry about your classic bank card they're a hundred bucks by the time you accumulate some fame and get to the traders you'll do that so what I'm going to do with these is Let's just put that in there. Right, let's chop these up. I usually chop both my top and bottoms up to make my career backpack, but we've got plenty of sticks around here, but I'm gonna keep those for arrows. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it normally as I always do it, just to show you, this is exactly what I do every single time. I'll stay in the one place and I'll get all the resources I need before I move on. Alright, so we're going to get five rag strips, and that's going to make that improvised rope. That's always good. If you come across puppets, you can chop those up for those. So we need five pieces, so let's do one more. Right, over to crafting. There you go. That is now available to craft, so we'll do that keep the rest of the sticks for arrows to fill up the bag make sure we get a couple of stacks there we go so we have a rope we have our three rags let's find the improvised backpack there we go it's already done there you go free rag and improvised rope obviously you can use tree bark rope wire thread you won't want to use thread if you find it you want to use those for sewing kits right so let's do the backpack Remember at this stage, always be very mindful of what's around. Just always keep looking around. Right, there we go. We have a backpack, bow, wooden spear. You can always get rid of that and have the axe. Axe is a pretty good uh, melee weapon and it's probably better than the wooden spear. But if you want something that's just going to give you a little bit of reach, a bit of distance, um, at the start just see you get to know how the puppets are, are going then that will be a good tool but I would do the stone spear right so let's right click on all these um, sticks and what we're gonna do is craft a load of arrows so I'm gonna chop up all these wooden sticks these long ones into small sticks and we're gonna fill up the bag right so they're done I would probably do another bush or two right let's go into the arrows we go wooden arrows you can do stone arrows stone tip arrows that they're, they're pretty long-winded to do at the beginning something you do a bit later on the wooden arrows uh, are very cheap to craft and you know you're losing their ten a penny so they will do for now so once you've crafted one you can always alt C to keep crafting as long as there's the resources in your vicinity that way that at least allows you to keep looking around for any dangers Right, there we go. Two stacks of arrows, axe, bow, ready to go. Right, so this is the basics you're gonna need. If you're fortunate enough to be close, very close to a couple of outbuildings and you find some bits in there, that's fine. 
but I wouldn't advise you to start sprinting around straight for a POI because that's how you will get killed straight out. This is your best chance of survival as a brand new player. Get the axe done, get your bag done, chop your clothes up. If you're up in a cold region, you're gonna to have to think a bit different, but you will spawn in with um, gloves, a beanie, uh, inmate hoodie. So you've got a chance, but you've got to think a little bit differently. That's the thing with this game is um, there's so many avenues you, you can go, but I'm just going to keep this as simple for you as possible. So there's the basics. That's done. Let's go into metabolism. And you can see just by being here that has burnt off a little bit of food and water. Don't worry. Even if these get down to zero, you're not going to you're not going to die straight out. There's plenty of resources about. There's lots of stuff on the island. If I was down here, you got to think a little bit differently. I would, uh, I think, I spawned down here, I think, on my account. So I said to myself, right, where do I want to go? As tempting as it is to hit to these POIs, the resources down here are scarce, there's no rivers, so fresh water's there, the nearest bit of fresh water. So I headed north. So by the time I got up to B1 town, uh, I had a drink, I foraged a bit of food, and by the time I hit town, I started to find a few more items, and... I was a bit more safe and secure so that's when you can start the game sort of starts opening up but it's so important at this stage here you be very careful so what I'm gonna do as we're near the town I'm gonna make my way south so that's directly that way and we're gonna head towards the town and that way you can start off maybe find yourself a garage or a building just to lock down for now before you want to start accumulating stuff getting some chests up burying some stuff but we can go through that another time, but I'm just showing you the basics. So here we go. This is what you don't want to do. Like I say, the puppet settings at the minute, everything's on vanilla, so there's only not 64 puppets. So chances of coming across many puppets right now are pretty slim, but you've got to treat every game and every server exactly the same. So there's no other players, so you're not got to worry about PvP. Just go on your single player, go on about your journey, and experience the game. But this is the basics you want to get going, and this will help you survive. Now it's time to head to a POI. You'll find resources, food, uh, maybe water wells down there, um, shops where you can find stuff. Um, then you can really get going. Hopefully a backpack, clothes, and uh, maybe some weapons. Right, so there we go. There is my first tip to get you going. We've now made it to the POI, the town. You can see there's date trees down there, there's food down there, there's water down there. So we've had it pretty lucky. Been pretty close to a POI. Um, if I was somewhere here in the middle, I would have gone to B2 town. If I was over here, I would have gone to one of these two towns here. So it's always good to head towards the town because you know you're gonna get food, resources, clothing, and other items that can help you on the way. But this will get you going so take it easy remember where you're going from and to do not sprint about be careful of the wild puppets they're the things that will catch you out and work your way through town which is what i'm going to do in the next tutorial video is show you how to approach a town like this and how to work your way through it looking for what you need and not making any mistakes to get you killed and showing you sort of where the puppets would be and where they might not be and where you might be able to sprint or where you might not be able to sprint. So we'll get into that next time. So I hope this basic one has helped you. If you're brand new to the game, this is definitely the basics you want to get going. Get these up because this will make a huge difference. And like I say, take your time. Do not rush. It's survival. All right, take care. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next one. Ta-da for now.